In this video, I'm going to be unboxing, setting up and reviewing this massive digital clock. It is really cool. So stick around, have a look and see what it's all about. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. This is the Review Dad. Hello. So let's jump right into the unboxing. As you can see, the box is quite big. This clock is massive once you open the box. The box shows you all the things the clock can do, which is really cool. So opening the box, we have a nice foam uh, piece at the top, which protects the clock itself. And underneath you can see all the bits and pieces that come in the box. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the plug. The plug is a UK plug. It has a small adapter on the end which plugs into the back of the clock. There's a compartment for that which fits in underneath the flap. And also the cable can fit in through the side of the clock down the side or down the bottom. So you can wall mount it or it can be on a desk without the cable being in the way. And also you get a nice remote. The remote's actually quite nice. It's got a nice feel to it. It's a bit of a, a textured feel. And uh, there's a lot of buttons and functionality. And I'll get into that later on in the video as well. Now, taking the clock out of the box, it's, it's quite light for the size, and when you actually take it out, it feels like a little LCD screen, one of those ones you see in the electric cars of today. It is uh, really big. Uh, once you're holding it, you actually realize how big this clock is. It comes with a nice manual. I think there's eight languages that it comes in, so those are all color-coded, as you can see. I'll also show that later on with all the functionality of the clock, so you can have a look. It also comes with a nice little wall mount, so that gives you the exact measurements for the plug holes on the back. So you can put that on a wall so it sits nice and flush. And you can see that uh, little measurement there is uh, 27 centimeters. And I've also got a Sharpie to show you how big this clock actually is. It is it's really big. And once you switch it on, it is really crisp and clear as well. And uh, it's just, I can't explain it over a video. When you see it in real life, it's actually pretty cool. So turning it over, you can see the buttons and what it looks like at the back. It actually looks like a... A TV set, some you know, from the behind. It's uh, it's really quite amazing how big it is. So there's the flap, so you can put it on your desk and you can stand it on a desk or a counter or anything like that. Or the wall mountable holes, so you can put those up on a wall and it can sit nice and flush for an office or a, uh, even a gym or anything like that. Because that's how big these numbers are on this clock. It's it's really cool. And uh, you can see the compartment over here. The clock does come with two batteries already. And the remote actually comes with two batteries. So that's really nice as well. So it's all ready to go and ready to set up from the get go. And uh, yeah, that's basically the clock and what it looks like, how it feels. Again, it's really light. It uh, feels sturdy. It's pretty strong. You can see that the back flap, I have a bit of a struggle trying to put that back in. So it is very sturdy to hold it up. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with how it feels already. It's got that nice sealant on top and I'm sure some of you are just hoping and waiting for me to peel that off. But uh, we'll have to see if I get to that in the video. So moving on, we can see the plug, how it plugs into the little compartment at the back by removing that flap. And there are those little grooves you can see that I explained about the cable fitting in nicely. So going down the side, or when you put it on a desk that's where I'm putting it now for the demonstration and the video or you can go straight down and then that helps with wall mounting and that so it doesn't get in the way and stick out and wobble around so that's the cable and then uh, what I'll do is I'll show you it's got the temperature as well as the um, time and everything that it shows and it's also got a sensor for light so it can also automatically brighten or darken depending on the light in the room so those were those sensors I was showing you over there so here's the remote with the batteries included so just wanted to show you that and the remote is really cool you can switch the clock on and off as well which I'll show you now so that's off and we'll switch it back on and there we go so yeah, that's uh, very responsive, very quick. You can set it up, you can go through all the languages, you can look at the manual and see how to set up all these things. You just cycle through all the options and click the set button and that will allow you to change all the options from the language to the time, to the date, uh, to the day, as well as the countdown and the count up clock, as well as the chimes. There's three different chimes with this clock and you can set when those chimes go off as well with different hourly uh, alarms and things like that so it's uh, got a lot of functionality and as you can see it's just really clear it's so crisp and clear and when you're close up to it it's clear when you're far away it's clear you can see it from the other side of the room and it's just I don't know it just seems to catch as everyone catch everyone's attention when you look at the clock it's just 
it's just really good. I'm quite, <laughs> as you can hear from me going on and on about it, I'm actually really impressed. I've never seen a digital clock like this, uh, you know, for home use or even a gym and that, you know, other than the industrial ones that you would buy and things like that. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. So let's have a look at changing some of the settings. So for the temperature setting, if you want to change that to Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius, you press the button on the back of the clock like I'm showing you now and that will cycle through those changes, which is the Celsius and Fahrenheit button. And if you want to change the clock time to PM or 24 hour, that's the button just above the one we were pressing and you can see that cycles through that. Now if you push the set button that will then allow you to change the language and then the two buttons I'm showing you here which is the Celsius, Fahrenheit and the time 24 hour or PM AM that can cycle up and down through the options and that's the same for any option that you choose in the clock to cycle up and down. So those two are there. So moving on to the next thing we'll choose English as the main language so we'll set that and then it goes back to the main time it asks you to then change the date and again you can use those two buttons to cycle up and down and that will change and as you keep pressing that set button it will move through the different options for the clock and you can then cycle up and down to change the numbers or the settings. So that's how that's done. Now the next thing I want to show you is the timer. So basically at the bottom there you can see this little timer button so you press that and the timer then displays. Then what you can do is by pressing those two or three buttons there you can actually set the hours minutes and the seconds that you want this timer to count down so this is the countdown timer that we're doing so you can set that and you can go up and down by using those two buttons and then you can go and choose the minutes which is the button below that and then you move through those and then you can choose the seconds which is the Fahrenheit Celsius button and that's there so once you've chosen your timer number that you want minutes hours seconds whatever you can then press the snooze button and then that will trigger the timer to start counting down for you and once that reaches zero 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 across the whole clock an alarm will go off and you will know that you've reached that timer setting that you've set so that's how the timer is set pretty easy just like everything else and uh, yeah nice and big as well really big <laughs> Now if you want to reset the timer to zero, zero all across, you press those two buttons again as you can see on the back and it says there timer clear which is those two at the beginning uh, which I showed you earlier that cycles up and down. Now the other thing I wanted to show you is a uh, count up timer which also works so you can just press the button to snooze once it's on zero and it will count up and it will move upwards through the numbers to whatever number you want to reach and then again if you want to clear them you press those two buttons which is the AM PM or 24 hour with the Fahrenheit Celsius button and that will reset everything to zero and once it hits there this is the alarm you will hear So nice and clear beeping so you know you've reached the end of your timer and then you can reset it by pressing those two buttons again. Now the next thing I want to show you is setting an alarm. So what you do at the bottom is you go out of the timer by pressing the timer, you go back to the clock and then at the back what you do is press alarm set button and that will take you into the setting. So you've got an AL1 and then again you can cycle through the two options which I showed you on the back here which is the set button and you press that and then it will move the alarm to on and off and once you've chosen that you can then cycle through the two buttons there uh, on and off so the set button moves through the settings like before when you're changing the clock and then you use the other two buttons to choose the preferred time that you want and then that will set the alarm so you can see the little bell that's appeared there by the number and you can cycle through the times and then choose that as your alarm and once you're done you click set and it will go through. Now once you finish choosing the numbers and the alarm being on you press set again you can see it goes through to a section that says 1E, 2E and 3E. Now what this means is that you have three different types of uh, alarms that you can have. So 1E means that it's working every day so every day at 6am or whatever you choose. 2E means that it's working on a Monday to Friday so it's all weekdays and then 3E means it's only working on weekends, so that would just be Saturday and Sunday. So the alarm can be set for all the days, weekdays or weekends. And that's how it works there, so that's pretty easy. And that's all set up and uh, ready to go. The other thing you can do is also set the different chimes 
that you have there's three different charms here so you can have uh, an hourly charm no charm or charms at certain hours of the day which are six nine o'clock ten o'clock and five or off and also it comes with three different charm sounds so that can also play for you uh, whatever charm you want to choose when you want to choose it so yeah overall i'm really impressed with the clock and uh, i hope you enjoyed the review and i will see you guys next time cheers <laughs>